Hello everybody, hola, it's me Jessica with another episode in celebration of the Hispanic Heritage Month and I am here with Carlos Lizaola, did I say it right? Yes. <laughs> in Austin, which are the headquarters for Web Force, and I'm super excited to get you to know Carlos and what he has done. His company has won multiple awards and I want him to tell you the story and I have some questions for him. So Carlos, thank you so much for saying yes. No, thank you. Nice to meet you and everything. <laughs> thank you for the invite. Yes. So, um, you know, tell us about that vision um, that you have as an entrepreneur because, you know, I know that entrepreneurs are like 2% of the population and <laughs> you had that. Where, where did that come from? from so basically I mean from the my past and everything I always got that feeling about I wanted to do my own things and all those type of things so I know one of my business partners Luis and we click right so mm -hmm. we started seeing like okay we should do something like mm -hmm. for our own and everything so we started like getting together and we got an opportunity to create one well to help one product mm -hmm. uh, that was the one thing book Mm -hmm. um, and basically that is how everything started like we start working together and everything I quit my job uh, he quit his job and everything and we start everything like I don't know working late hours for months working Monday to Sunday and everything but yeah we wanted to do something by ourselves so you say work hard <laughs> yeah yeah we were working hard and a lot <laughs> would you say that you have uh, reached your American dream Yes, well, I want more, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more about it. Like, how, how does the American dream look like for you? I mean, it's just opportunity, right? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I used to live in Mexico and everything, and everything was so complicated. Like, sometimes over there, getting clients and getting opportunities and all those type of things, right? Mm -hmm. So, when I came here, I don't know, everything started looking more easy and mm -hmm. somehow. Like, I don't know how to explain it. But it's just opportunity to talk with people, people that are in the same mentality as mm -hmm. you and all those type of things. So it, everything was just easier. Was were there any limitations like your language or you know your background? You know, I can tell you from my example, you know, my background, even though I was an attorney, but the laws were in Puerto Rico. So you feel yeah. like you need to start again, you know. Um, did you feel any of those limitations? Personally, yes. I didn't speak very well English I still don't I have a broken a broken English right but so, un acento. <clears throat> yes, sí. <laughs> so technically that that was my biggest challenge I think so right mm -hmm. because you need to get out of your comfort zone yes you need to go over there and start speaking because if not you're not going to learn yeah right so for me that was one of the biggest things personally right mm -hmm. and professionally I think I am a programmer mm -hmm. and that language is universal so for me in that sense it was not too much problem mm -hmm. like i know how to read english and everything in that time and mm -hmm. everything but i don't know the way to speak it and start relating with another people networking and all those type of things that was the complicated part for me mm -hmm. not actually the language of programming or the things like that and i always had that spark about i wanted to create something by myself and all those type of things so i don't know the destiny put me in touch with Luis and then with Aria and Josh, my business partners, and we're here. And they believe in you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Are there some words that you cannot say because of your accent? Oh yeah, a lot. <laughs> I don't want to get into trouble. <laughs> focus. Focus, yeah, focus. It's funny, I don't think uh, I don't think we're having these conversations enough. And uh, it is important. It is important because um, you know when when I see that your company reach you know the recognition that is one of the biggest recognitions uh, a company can have, and the awards that you your company has won. Um, as as a Hispanic and somebody that didn't grow up here, I moved to the U.S. Um, when I was 30 years old. So you're pretty much have to start you know all yeah. over i can totally relate with the barrier that i put myself it yeah. took me nine years to speak yeah. in english yeah almost the same for me i mean so far i still sometimes i have problems or mm -hmm. something with i get out of my comfort zone as i said yeah so but that is good because every time that something like that happens like in this exact moment right this is my first interview in English. So it's like, okay, I need to get out of my comfort zone. And I was speaking with Aria, right? And he was like, just do it. And I was like, shh, okay. 
Okay. I am so happy <laughs> to be the one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you're the first. No, I, I actually remember the very first time I was invited to do a five minute talk. I had practiced the one hour talk with Slideshow. That was easy, right? I had I didn't even practice it at all. <laughs> but then when it was for the five minute, I'm like, oh my gosh, five minutes takes me just to kind of like warm up. And somebody, um, actually she said, Jessica, here's, here's what you need to do. Just your icebreaker, it's gonna be telling people that they are going to listen to you with an accent. Exactly. So just break that ice. And then actually after that, that's kind of like one of the things I say in any time I am in that, you know, situation when I'm gonna go and speak and people don't know, I'm like, you know, this is my name, this is my background, and I am from Puerto Rico and you're gonna feel an accent. Yeah. So <laughs> Yeah, no, and actually my first job as a programmer here in the US and everything. That was with uh, Henry Fuentes, he's from Puerto Rico. Uh -huh. He doesn't speak too much Spanish, but he understands it. Uh -huh. So I, that was something a little bit more easy for me because when I get in trouble or I didn't know how <laughs> to say thanks, I was like, oh, es esto, o quiero decirte esto, right? <laughs> something like that. And I, I was just speaking with him in Spanish, he replied in English, and that actually helped me a lot. Yeah, yeah, and I think it's something I appreciate from, you know, um, the culture in Texas. I feel um, in comparison to where I was living in the Northeast, I, I felt like I would not belong. But here in Texas, it's just way much open. Uh, people are just like really heart centered and they work it out. They work yeah, it out. Yeah. And actually, I never felt any discrimination about no. my accent or something. At the beginning, I remember the first talk that I did, like uh, as a CTO or something, and they, they just put me on the stage with another <laughs> 40 people, and I didn't know what to say, but I make them laugh. <laughs> so I think that was okay. So, <laughs> yeah. That's good. So, another question is um, what would you say to, let's say, you, the you, when you were. 17 years old those th th that age when you're like what do I want to do with life do I make money easy should I google that or what what, what do you think honestly for me that was kind of funny because I, I actually didn't start programming until I was in the university probably and I don't know in second semester third semester or something like that and I don't know I always felt like I needed to learn a little bit earlier in my life, right? Mm. Like just being focused about that, not not about getting money faster, mm -hmm. but actually making more connections and learning more about programming and all those type of things. I think that is really essential. And I mean, for that, I mean, we live in another world right now, right? Mm -hmm. You have a lot of tutorials, free content, and all those type of things that it makes it a lot easier to actually get into programming and all those mm -hmm. type of things. So I don't know uh, if I was six, 17, but in this moment, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm pretty sure that I will start learning like, I don't know, about 15 years or something like that programming. Mm -hmm. It's what I love. Sometimes I speak with my, my dad and I tell him like, honestly, if I was born, I don't know, in the 1800s, I don't know what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like at all. Like, I love what I do and everything. So, yeah. so what's the recipe for success? Tell us about, you know, your company, what you guys do and, and what's that recipe for success? So I still don't know the recipe for success. We're still <laughs> finding out, but um, hopefully we will find it. But yeah, basically uh, it's an all-in-one solution for uh, your online needs for your business, right? Mm -hmm. So basically we try to do um, an easy way to deploy your website, your sales funnels, your e-commerce site, or shop, um, your member site, so if you're selling digital products mm -hmm. and all those type of things, it's an easy way to do it, a blog, and if you have uh, all the needs about a CRM included, we have a CRM and, and their admin, and we start including a, a lot of uh, phone dialer functionality, so you can start reaching out the customers and actually upsell more products or subscriptions. Uh, so you have a team that can also do phone calls? Yes, exactly. So basically the business is now split in two parts, right? Uh, we have the software part that mm -hmm. is building the software, but we're consuming our own recipe. We're actually using our software to actually grow, right? Mm -hmm. So we have an in-house sales team and thankfully we have great clients and actually they allow us to actually sell their own their products mm -hmm. using our own software. So That's we are being amazing. our own testimonial. No, it. that is amazing. I mean, somebody understanding, you know, how complex it can be, the fact that you can offer qualified leads. Yeah. <laughs> that is amazing. Is there anything that you want to add to anybody that is watching this video? 
don't know. <laughs> I mean, in this business part, I mean, just do it, right? Like, uh, just try it to do everything that you feel. If your gut tell, is telling you that you need to go for it, just for it. Just start learning. Watch some video tutorials, some YouTube videos, and start researching a lot, and that's it. I, I actually can tell everybody. I mean, I, I can gather just from, you know, a few minutes that I have gotten to meet you, right? It's like your energy is contagious. Um, you lead with, vamos a darle, chale yeah. gana. That is <laughs> Positivity, <it. laughs> right? Um, and then you mentioned um, super, super important how it is to get associated with people who, yeah. baby, they, they, they dream bigger than you. Yeah. And also, you know, don't, don't let the fears of your accent to stop you. Yeah, You're going to be afraid, but do it anyway. Yes. And I mean, like in this case, my other business partner that is Hispanic too, Luis, um, he's born and raised here, right? Mm -hmm. But that was another part that was so easy for me because I can relate with him in Spanish. Right? And sometimes, a lot of times, I speak with him in Spanish and he would just reply in English, right? Because it's easier for him and reply in English. Somos como Dora la Exploradora. Exactamente. <laughs> Literal, como Dora. Bueno, más bien como, no me acuerdo cómo se llama el nombre de Dora, pero... Yeah. <laughs> pero de eso. Qué bueno, qué bueno. Well, thank you yeah. so much, you know. And guys, we're going to put the information so you can definitely schedule a demo and you can test how the how the software works definitely something that is needed i get so many phone calls from you know people who have been in the nine to five and they're like how can i start an online business how can i get you know yeah. a quick you know um, website up and now we know that you know we have yes. a solution that is in-house and you know i'm so excited yeah just visit webforce.io that's it thank you